Hey there, it's Tiny City Bitty Sticker Co. and I'm here to do my April kit lineup. I, okay, so you guys know spring is not my favorite, but I do have a, a pretty good collection of spring kits. And so I'm trying to use them. And so there's, I, hmm, I don't want to lie to you and say that I think that this, this lineup is going to actually stick, but I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful because I'm trying to use one Molly kit a month for an average of 12 a year. Um, I used two of them in March. So I was like, okay, April, I, I need to use some of these kits up. And then I'm also trying to use a kit that I'm not jazzed for. Whereas like I'm doing like Molly jazzed for a kit, should probably use a kit. And man, this one's kind of been here a long time, but I always... I don't know about you, but I tend to get really excited when a spread I'm not excited for works out like 30 times better than I could have ever hoped for because like it's it's just kind of a vibe. I don't know. I get it's exciting. And then you have the kits that you're excited for that are maybe not the best, which kind of ruins your whole planner week. I don't know. I'm just talking now because I've had way too much coffee. I slept late this morning. I got up at seven. Big day. Okay. April 1st through the 7th. So Kevin will be out of town. He's going to his friend's baby shower. Well, he's going to his friend's boy baby shower, and then he's going to help set up for the girl baby shower, and then he's going to come home. So I decided to go with this kit. It is this ducks kit from, um, oh my gosh, it says it, Simply Gilded. Y'all almost said Scribble Prince Co. Boy, howdy. So from Simply Gilded, it's new, and I sent it to Sarah, and I was like, look at these ducks. And they're so cute. And then she messaged me. She's like, I got the ducks. And I was like, no, I'm not going to get the ducks. I love the ducks. I'm not going to get the ducks. And then like 10 minutes later, I'm like, hey, so I got the ducks. And I feel like this is very spring. It says, hello, spring. It says you're cute. I kind of think that's a little weird, but whatever. Um, but it also gives like baby shower vibes. So while I won't be present at the baby shower, I still think it's cute. And I have the deco. So I have played around with the idea of like covering up the you're cute. But I don't know if I want to do that because like... It's still, I don't know, I have it, so I don't know. Let me put this back on the sheet so I don't, I don't lose it. But here's the kit. It is, it's so cute, y'all. It's so cute. And then you have, oh, that works. Then you have the date covers. There's four sets, which just feels a little ambitious for the number of stickers you get. But I think I'm going to use these, and I think I'm going to keep the pink ones for my stash, and then I'm going to de-stash those other two colors. I, I don't use blue too terribly much, and I have another set of, like, weird kind of off greeny color so I'm like I don't really need to but I think I'm gonna use the flowers love all this the gratitude box perfect for my highlight then we have the flags which I last time I used one of her kits I layered these but I'm a little confused because there's only six of these heart ones which I really like but there's eight of the bow ones which makes me wonder why this isn't a heart one so I could have seven and seven I don't know I find it odd but I think what I'm gonna do is use these and then I'm going to layer them on like the solid colors and these will get layered on the patterns and then sunday is kind of a rest day so i won't use a checklist and then there's ample boxes i love the headers i think they are so cute again i like this floral pattern then we have plenty of boxes i find this one so cute that i don't even want to write in it like it's so cute and then i have the deco and then i also got the heart icons date which is very cute so the washi that goes with this kit is right here. There was more. I think there was like four rolls that went with this. But I got the ducks with the little bows on their head because it's so cute. And then I got, I just thought this floral was super cute. I think, are they supposed to be little duck feet? Or is it supposed to be like little like grass? I don't know. I'm about it though. And I love like the color choice. I, well, I like silver, but I love the color choice. So I have it swatched. There we go. So you can see like the big picture. Isn't this so cute? Like I can't, I can't handle it. I'm really excited for this one. So I think this one has the potential to stick only because I'm just excited to use it. But another, I get overwhelmed sometimes with like having to make these decisions. Like the fact that there's only six of these. What if I am like feeling a matchy matchy spread while well, I want everything in a line? I don't know. But anyway, I'm hopeful because this one just screams baby shower, but spring, which is what I need. So think I think so plus like how cute are these ducks like so cute so cute next up I'm helping my mom at a craft fair she sells like if you have a molly mug that she does that she does sublimation on mugs and all sorts of other things and so this is like selling her designs I think there'll be some molly mugs too but I digress on that but I'm going to help her 
and I'll do the muscle and then I'm just going to keep her company while she does her thing. But I have this kit from Sweet Quite Design and because it's kind of like a craft fair, I thought it would make sense to use the Crafty Critters kit, which I've actually never used. I've never used it. I've cut it down so it fits in my storage, but I've never used it. So then I had the brilliant idea to be like, Mom, hey, do you want to use this kit too? And then we can match. And she's like, yes, I do. And I was like, well, Wonderbar, because I probably, I've had this kit for long enough that it's on the old paper. So probably like two years and I just haven't used it. And so instead of it just rotting away in my stash, I think I pulled the box, uh, I got a little tongue tied, sorry. Pulled the boxes that I wanted to use, which was like, these and then these are the ones that I'm going to get her to use um and then yeah we'll just use as much as we can and then de-stash this all out and that will be two spreads which is typically what I use with one of these kits I am thinking I might keep these dig covers though like they're pretty cute so I don't know pretty hype about it and I love the crayon so I'm really excited for the washi that I chose I have chosen this so this is the yellow bow that you guys know is my ride or die, much like the wood grade bow, like so good. And then this one is from Sweeping Plans and I got this not too terribly long ago. So you may get lucky and find this in her shop. It is so cute. And I just think that this is gonna look so good. I don't, did I swatch this already? Let's see, let's see if past Tanya helped us out or did she do us dirty? Oh, it looks like she may have done us dirty. Kind of a bummer for her, my bad. All right, so. We'll do a quick swatch so we can do a look see i was gonna use this okay don't come for me let me show you i didn't pull it because i do better the most ridiculous makes no sense washi ever i was gonna i was gonna pull into it okay look at look at these little cookies and you're like ma'am no stop it and i agreed that's why I, I didn't get it but like how cute do these boxes look with these cookies they're so cute but i was like no so Plus, these are like flawless. I just think that this decision is absolutely perfect. Let's find the other boxes. And like, how cute is this? Like, this is so cute. And so I'm very excited. Now, the date covers are a little short, which is exciting. So what I was thinking of doing is putting the, um, the pencil up at the top. And then I would do the actual pencil date covers wherever they fit. And then I would probably, I'm thinking because this is kind of an artsy week and I was thinking of doing like a wobble. Um, I'm, I am vibing with the wobbles lately. Not too wobbly, but wobbly adjacent. Um, just the full boxes. But I thought that could be kind of whimsical and fun. And then I could do washi at the bottom or I could intersperse it or I could do one. I don't know. We'll just see what happens. I'm going to plan this with my mom. So this one actually get filmed. It'll just randomly be done one day. Um, yeah, so we're going to plan this together. I think that will be fun. Okay, yes, craft fair. Next up is the 15th or the 21st, which I believe is just a vet appointment. So I didn't really have anything going. This is the kit that I'm not like really hype about, but I need to use. So this is a Scribble Prince Co. kit. First off, this is a November 2021 mystery. Is it gorgeous? Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. Had to hunt it down, needed it. The problem is, much like... Well, 90% of my stash, it has been a hoarding situation for me. I'd like it too much to use it. So then I don't want to use it. Like I don't, I'm not excited to use it. I want to just keep it in my stash, but I decided it's time to start using them. So that's what I'm going to do. I've been telling myself, plus these colors are so good. They do scream more fall, but I don't really care. I just think it's time to finally use it. I even went ahead and put this foil down many a moon ago. So this was not a new thing, trying to tell myself I was going to use it. So cute more box even i could easily use this for two weeks i'm just not going to love it so much and so i really want to use this so so far the um not tracking dinners has been going great so we might just keep not tracking dinners but kind of thinking of i'm gonna omit the girls right i think these boxes are cute so that's three boxes i want to replace and i'm thinking of replacing it with these three but then I'm like, girl, what are you doing? Because you also want to use the tall box, which is a bed. So I'm like, that might be too much. So then I was like, okay, how about we get rid of the girls? And then we do those two. But I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. I just think that, I mean, I could put the tall box in the corner, right? In the top corner. Could just like be over here. That would be fine. And then I could still do one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, then six. 
and then seven eight i do like the bed though it's awfully cute i don't know what i've decided and then i'm using what's left of this like copper colored foil which it looks like this isn't a really old format so i don't know how long it's been around i'm sure she has this color in a different um like bundle that she can still get it's a good one it's a really good one it's beautiful and I think it'll just be enough to give it some pops. So I'm really hopeful I actually use this one. This one that has been being bumped since uh, November 2021. So mm, we'll see. I didn't pick out any washi for it because I really didn't feel like it needed it. I like this with the bow. And then I do dig the bottom washi pattern in a half. But I don't think I'm going to do a full washi with this kit. I'm, the only reason I might consider it is because it's going to help tie in the blue and the blue. We'll just have to see what happens. All right, last but not least, I'm excited for this one. I, this is, I'm pretty sure this one's not going to stick, I'll be honest with you now. But um, Sine sent me this, I want to say it was two Christmases ago or something like that. But like, it is so cute. It is a Jessica Hart, which I still, I've been around so long that she was shop Jessica Hart. So if I say that, I'm sorry, but it's just Jessica Hart. This is the Garden Princess kit and it is beautiful absolutely beautiful i love depression era glass and you have the pink one which is my favorite very 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 spring it's just it's beautiful it's like fairy tale i love it i got some i got some water on it this morning so that was my bad um colors top notch not a lot of boxes which i'm actually kind of excited for i know that seems absolutely cuckoo bananas but i am i'm kind of excited to see about pulling stuff from stash or just seeing if i can work with what the mini kit comes with and then I really like that these washi, they have these um, solid headers as opposed to glitter headers. They're still offered. But I thought, okay, what if I can find either a foil bundle or, and I, I couldn't find one yet. It doesn't mean that it's not there because I have this gargantuan thing. I just haven't sat down and went, okay, yes, I'm feeling this one. But I was thinking if I could find a really pretty silver or rose gold foil bundle, it, it would help pop here. And then it would probably help kind of disguise the fact that there was a whoopsie doodle. My bad. Um, the coffee was delicious. Was it worth ruining a sticker? No. No, it wasn't. But that's okay. I love it. I just think it's beautiful. And I want to use this. But it's one of those ones that it's so pretty that I'm nervous to use. So I've pulled two washies. Um, I pulled this bow. I don't know where it came from. It could have been a sub box. Maybe it was a standalone, but it's beautiful. It's perfect. And then this washi was a set. I got this on Supercell. I think this was like both of them for like five bucks or something. I don't know what color it is, but it's really pretty. And it looks to be a rose gold and a maybe an Aurora pink, but I, I think it kind of leans silver that Aurora pink. So I don't think it's that big of a deal. Plus I don't mind mixing foils. This doesn't bother me. But I just thought these looked so nice together. Where did I just swatch it? Like, I just think this looks so pretty. Like, it looks so pretty. And, yeah, I'm here for it. So, like I said, I'm going to try to find a foil that goes with it. If not, I think there's plenty of pizzazz. But, yeah, so there's the five boxes. You have littles. And then you have these, which I thought would be kind of cool to put on end to mark working. Like, I typically work more than the three days. But I like to be in my shop printing and cutting. I'm not always in here printing and cutting. I'm usually lurking or doing something else. But I thought that'd be really cute. Um, and then since new releases are the next week, I'll be prepping stock and stuff like that. So I think it's cute and I really want to use it, but I don't know. I don't know y'all. I'm torn. Plus I still have my Molly camping kit, like I said, and I keep wanting to use that even though I haven't went camping, but I'm so on the fence about it that I went ahead and instead of putting the washi away when I didn't use it, I've just been keeping it on my desk. To tell myself I need to use it. So, what do we think? What do we, which kits do we actually think are going to get used? Because we have this one, we have this one, we have this one, and then we have ducks. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. I do know that this craft one's going to stick because I'm going to go play with my mom in a couple days and I'm really excited for that. So, anyway, thank you so much for stopping by. I would love if you gave this video a thumbs up. If you decide to come join the NW Secret Co family, that'd be incredible. Hit that subscribe button. I just broke my bracelet. Oh my goodness. Goodbye.